Hello, Wastelanders! So you're one of the people who has downloaded America Rising to Legacy of the Enclave and you are really enjoying the Enclave as a faction in Fallout 4. Who can blame you? But you might be asking yourself after you've played through the main storyline, now what? And I think we both know the answer to that, folks. It's time to buff that faction. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite ways to do it. A couple of which were viewer suggestions, and I just want to say thank you so much for those comments, everybody. Okay, are you ready to get started buffing the Enclave in Fallout 4? Well, let's get to it. As we know, one of the Enclave's most defining military traits is its love of advanced power armor. And there is no power armor more advanced in the vanilla game than the X01 power armor that the America Rising 2 Legacy of the Enclave mod puts into its NPC leveled lists and its shops on the oil rig. But what if we want to put even more advanced power armor that the Enclave has access to into their leveled lists? The key to doing this, and in fact many of the things I'm going to show you today, is the America Rising 2 Patches and Resources by Otolino page on Nexus Mods. Resources there have allowed this X03 Hellfire Power Armor, that's right, the Creation Club Power Armor, is appearing on an NPC at our Army Supply Depot base. And that's not all. We have over here X02 Black Devil Power Armor, also the Creation Club variant, appearing on the other NPC guarding the front gates of the base. And if you don't have Creation Club dollars to spend, you can also do this with the X02 Enclave Power Armor by Cypher, or the X03 and X02 Power Armor in the the Road to Liberty mods. Those are all free, and to show I'm not bluffing, here we are at the oil rig, and here is some of Cypher's XO2 power armor, and in fact, I think it looks kind of better than the Creation Club stuff, don't you? I even have a third free option for you that is really, really good looking stuff, and that is the Enclave power armor. Nice and simple name. Modern Newer Mind 43 was kind enough to put some Fallout 76 Enclave Power Armor into Fallout 4 for us. So if you'd like some variety in the power armored NPCs that you find around the Commonwealth in the America Rising 2 mod, wish granted. X01, X02, X03, and Fallout 76's Enclave Power Armor, which as you can see here from this up-leveled suit, is on par with all the other good Enclave Power Armors that your troops could be wearing. And in case you were wondering, yes, Barrett has them in the Let's shop. Let's see what you've got. Only the best for our troops. As you see here, the Enclave Power Armor is available for purchase, depending on what she has in stock. Obviously, the X01 is, and also the X02 Power Armors and X03 Power Armors that you can link to America Rising 2 using the patches and resources by Otolino. And yes, I will link that in the description for this video. And now that your Power Armored Enclave troops will be sporting the best equipment around, let's talk about some equipment that will benefit everybody. That's right, I'm talking weapons. Otolino's America Rising 2 patches and resources is also also a good place for us to integrate some lore-friendly Enclave weapons into our leveled list for our troops. And to help me demonstrate, I've invited Richard Obvious, Captain of the Enclave. Taking out the Brotherhood airship, you should be proud. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Sharp-eyed viewers might notice he's not carrying a plasma rifle or a laser rifle. It is a solar cannon. That's right, the Creation Club solar cannon weapon. The solar cannon is an interesting lore-friendly weapon. It's kind of somewhere between a plasma rifle and a laser rifle. I've equipped Peterson, my Enclave companion, with one, and as you can see, they weigh a ton. But because it's an exterminator's, I felt like it was really fitting for the guy who won't shut up about how much he hates bugs. But Peterson's not the only one getting in on the fun. As you can see, here is an Enclave specialist packing a solar cannon right here in the, the army depot has been serving as an effective boot camp for new recruits thank you peterson maybe i should call you captain obvious but the fun doesn't stop with the solar cannon another weapon we can integrate into our leveled list is the heavy incinerator a heavy weapon that was developed by the enclave you can see it here being held by this sergeant in the cypher enclave x02 power armor it's fun it's like a molotov launcher if you've ever wanted one of those we can also integrate the prototype goss rifle from creation club a beautifully rendered weapon and we can integrate the tesla cannon a big daddy version of the tesla rifle well, I couldn't afford to buy all those to show you, and maybe you can't afford them either, but fortunately, weapons aren't everything. We also want some good armor for our infantry, and I have a couple of options for you that are totally free. Conveniently enough, both of the options can be found on America Rising 2 Enclave Marine Armor by Little Window. 
The mod includes Enclave specific wetsuits and marine armor pieces. You can see that Barrett is now selling them in the shop. All the pieces look great and you can choose either blue or orange for the glowy bits. I chose orange and you can see them on Captain Peterson here. That's what he is equipped with. The marine armor runs a little on the light side and helps make room for that heavy solar cannon. The next aspect of your Enclave faction that we're going to buff is their presence in the Commonwealth. You already know that America Rising 2 did a lot to bring the Enclave to the Commonwealth through checkpoints, settlements, military bases, presence in the main storyline, and patrols throughout the Commonwealth. To increase that presence even more, we're going to tap into what I showed you in my Enclave Comes to Nuka World video about how we can co-opt the Minutemen into being Enclave Auxiliary Militia. This way, in addition to the regular Enclave patrols that the America Rising mod brings into your Commonwealth, you can also have every Minuteman patrol leaving your settlements wearing Enclave patches on their shoulders as Enclave Auxiliary. It's fantastic, and I will link the mods you need in the description for the video. They are the We Are the Minutemen mod by yes. the first end. You're also going to need Militarized Minutemen by Corvalho and Militarized Minutemen oh, yeah. Uniforms, Patches, and Insignia add-on by Zactan1234 and ZAV AR2 Patches Enclaves Minutemen by Zavek. With all those in place, any mod that brings the Minutemen somewhere or allows the yes. Minutemen to do something will bring your Enclave there in some form, just like I did here at Nuka yes. World. Now, if you want to see more about how I yes. pulled this off, watch my video on it, The Enclave Comes to Nuka World. But I think you can see how having these Enclave patches on the Minuteman uniforms really buffs up the Enclave's presence in the Commonwealth. And since we lead the Minutemen and we're part of the Enclave, I think it's a pretty lore-friendly pairing as well. Without the Raiders making everyone nervous, I think you'll get a lot more visitors. Now another way I have for you for expanding your Enclave's presence in the Commonwealth is through Enclave-themed settlement building, which should come as no surprise. And if you're looking for somewhere to start expanding beyond the Army Depot settlement that America Rising 2 gives you, I have a suggestion. Undercover's Salute and Settle Egret Tours Marina City Plans for Sim Settlements 2 are Enclave-themed and right on point. Also on point are our Enclave-themed Minutemen doing a patrol outside the settlement. But here's what you get at Egret Tours Marina. You get a strategically located, centrally placed settlement that has some of the most badass fortifications I have seen in any city settlement plan. Take a look at these walls. Take a look at these towers. Take a look at all of these guard posts, all of these gun emplacements. In fact, here, let's head up to one of the highest lookout places so I can just pan around the settlement and give you a sense of its scope and how well walled it is. The tragedy is that it requires a mod that I cannot make work for a lot of the enclaved interior themes. And that is the Enclave Here by Choo Choo One. The mod looks epic and amazing, and those parts of my Egret Tours Marina are sadly missing. Hopefully you won't run into this same problem. It says I have a missing master from Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3. I suspect it's because I have all three chapters downloaded in one mod, and for some reason that's just tripping up the Enclave Here settlement plots. Until I figure out how to fix it, I'm going to go to Nexus Mods and show you what the Sim Settlements 2 add-on Enclave Here by Choo Choo contains. Wastelanders, ever since the Assaultron DLC came out, one of my favorite ways to protect my settlements is through robots that we build at the robot workbench. One problem is, though, that Enclave paint schemes aren't easy to find for most robots. So if you want an Assaultron Enclave style, like the one you see up over my shoulder there, let me show you how we can do this. There is a mod called the Enclave Robot Butler Mod. That is by Martin Toms. The mod brings us special models, plasma-based weapons, and probably, most importantly, Enclave paint for our robots. Factory default mode recognized. Is this unit to be placed under your command? 
So to recap, we can buff our Enclave with new power armors, XO2, XO3, and the Fallout 76 Enclave power armor. We can buff our Enclave leveled lists with Creation Club weapons like the Solar Cannon, the Heavy Incinerator, the Prototype Gauss Rifle, and the Tesla Cannon. We can buff our Enclave with Auxiliary Militia by turning the Minutemen into Enclave troops. We can staff those Minutemen Militia and Enclave robots at our settlements with Enclave themed items and plots like the ones at Egret Tours Marina. And since I've had a couple of requests for a tour of my Army Depot settlement, why don't I just finish the video up by showing you around. I'm not a settlement master by any means, but I did have fun putting this together for you. I like to put these constituency enforcement points near the guard checkout towers because they have instructions for people approaching guard checkout towers. I try to be immersive if I can. I left the crane in the middle of the settlement because I thought that was one of the more distinct possibilities with a settlement like this one. And I'm just going to go up onto this enclave rampart and kind of pan around so you can see. I surrounded the outside of the settlement edge with things like residences and muni municipal buildings. I put agriculture in the middle. The left of us here is Lacey Button's clothing shop, that NPC from Sim Settlements 2. And now our walking tour continues with a zip around the outside. You'll be able to spot lots of Enclave flags, posters. Tried not to overdo it, but you gotta lay it on kinda thick. It is the Enclave after all. Again, I like to do these constituency checkpoints at my guard towers. Uh, the Enclave radio, the remnant radio, I put these all over the place. For some reason, they just wouldn't turn on here for our tour, so maybe next time, I don't know. Enclave posters here and there. Most of these came with America Rising 2. An enclave pylon next to my communications shack. That just seemed to kind of make sense. I did things like no more mutants posters and anything the enclave would definitely be on board with. And then the residences, the occasional poster is in there, but they're typical Sim Settlements plots. As I told you, I couldn't get the Enclave here plots to work for whatever reason. Now, at the very center of town, I took up a big chunk of space on this Nuka Cola commercial plot, and that's because I used the Enclave to conquer Nuka World, and the Enclave loves America and nostalgia, so I figured this worked pretty well. The vendor here is all suited up, the Nuka aficionado. It's a pretty big plot, but I like to think that it does fit in here. I like to dress my guards in Enclave uniforms and gear, just kind of helps the look. For my power armor sales area, I have a Black Devil poster because, you know, of course that guy would be a fan of the Black Devil power armor. And then if we cross over here, we'll see next to this guard point that anytime I want to feel secure, I can just watch an Enclave patrol go marching by outside. I notice one of them is carrying a solar cannon, just like the ones we showed you today, integrating into our leveled list. So that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Now if we go into the building, it's kind of a recruitment center is how I set it up. This is where I try to make it seem to settlers like it might be fun to join the Enclave. I suspect it's not. But in here, we have a basketball hoop, we have this shiny, wonderful, dazzling piece of quantum power armor just to kind of make everybody feel like they want to be as cool as I am. We have the Red Menace whack-a-mole I got from Nuka World. Just some things to keep it fun. It's too bad the Remnant Radio doesn't work on any of the radios around here. But we also have lots and lots of power armor on display because everybody likes that, right? You kind of want to get that power armor. So I've got the you know, XO1, XO3, the Fallout 76 style Enclave power armor, and some Creators Club XO2 all lined up here. On a heavy weapon stand, I've got a Ghoul Slayer's high capacity heavy napalmer from the Creation Club kit. Those are in our level list now. How cool is that? If you remember my Enclave Comes to Nuka World episode, I role played as going undercover as a raider, so that's what all that stuff is still there for. Lots and lots of crafting stations and workbenches. You never can have enough of those, right? And in the back, an area where where new recruits, if they sign up, they can make use of the beds, the cafeteria type place I set up here, and a very shabby bathroom. But for some reason, these meager rewards seem to have attracted a lot of people. Look at all the people lined up to just sign up for the Enclave around here, so it seems to be working. And upstairs, that's where the big shots get to hang out. My actual Enclave officers' quarters are up here. Several beds, with some nice display stands for Gatling lasers, uh, plasma weaponry, uniforms, 
the like. Some of these items are from America Rising 2. Some of these items are from Atlas Summit. I've devoted entire videos to both of those mods and other ones by those mod authors. So if you're interested in those kinds of things, just comb back through my Paint It Black Enclave playlist. You should be able to find that stuff. On this far end of the warehouse are my quarters. We have the implant omatic for my Kellogg Cybernetic Implants mod. Since we're allied with the Institute, it stays friendly with the roleplay I'm doing here. And uh, some Enclave Patriotic paintings and accoutrement. And then my um, city planner desk because I'm the mayor of this town. That is the tour, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy making these videos for everyone. Some of this content came from viewer suggestions. You're all so very helpful when you give me ideas. Thank you so much for that. I do hope to get the Enclave here settlement plots working. If I do, I will integrate them into this settlement. And if it's enough of a change, I might even give you another look at how much those were able to change this settlement here. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't, because I'm always making more content. And I will see you in the next one.